Giovanni Vinci had the unfortunate honor of being the first wrestler injured in 2024. In the first tag team match of that year, Giovanni, with his tag team partner Ludwig Kaiser, fought Jey Uso and Kofi Kingston. During the match, Vinci got caught in midair with a drop kick. However, Kofi's right leg connected with Giovanni's head. Immediately, Vinci had a glazed look on his face, and the referee threw up the infamous X sign, which tells people backstage the injury is real. A doctor came into the ring, and the match was called off. Luckily, Vinci was able to walk out on his own, and the botched move didn't result in any serious injury. Now, if you think wrestling doesn't hurt because it's not real fighting, then watch this clip. In May 2024, Sheamus and Gunther competed in a match that went on for 21 minutes. Both men hit each other hard, but Gunther hit a bit harder. Yeah, the commercial break. Oh, my goodness! Literally, Gunther had his handprints on Sheamus' body. By the end of the night, the Celtic warrior looked like he had gotten sunburned. Now, here's what's really insane. Sheamus actually got it worse in another match. Several months later, the Celtic warrior fought Pete Dunne in a good old-fashioned Donnie Brook match. The two beat each other with sticks, paddles, and cricket bats. They'll never on the defensive. Oh, no, the cricket bat! While Sheamus did win, the match left his back looking bruised and abused. The New Year's edition of SmackDown 2024 treated fans to a triple threat main event between Randy Orton, AJ Styles, and LA Knight. During the match, Styles hit LA with a springboard 450. However, as he was coming down, AJ's elbow landed on Knight's face. The impact busted LA Knight open, and while it didn't look good, LA wasn't seriously hurt. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for Seth Rollins. In early 2024, Rollins defended the World Heavyweight Championship against Jinder Mahal. During the match, Rollins hit a moonsault from the middle rope. When he landed, though, Seth injured his knee. It later turned out that Rollins suffered a partially torn meniscus and completely tore his MCL. Because of this, Seth had to alter how he hit the curb stop for that match in all his future matches going forward. Unfortunately, due to upcoming storylines, Rollins wasn't able to get surgery until after WrestleMania 40. Speaking of WrestleMania, poor Seth got injured again during that show. At the granddaddy of them all, Seth Rollins defended his championship against Drew McIntyre. McIntyre landed a kick on Seth's face that made some real connection. The botched kick left Rollins with a black eye, and it only got worse as the match progressed. Being Seth's freaking Rollins, though, he continued to wrestle like nothing had ever happened. Injuries don't always happen in the ring. On the Raw after WrestleMania 40, the women's champion, Rhea Ripley, was attacked backstage by Liv Morgan. Morgan threw Ripley into a wall, which injured Rhea's AC joint, where the collarbone and shoulder connect. This forced Rhea Ripley not only to take time off, but also to vacate her championship, ending her title reign at 380 days. After a three-month hiatus, Rhea returned, but sadly, she would suffer another injury soon after. Making matters worse, it happened while wrestling Liv Morgan. After Liv Morgan got done competing in a tag team match, Rhea Ripley came out and confronted her. Morgan then hit Ripley with a code breaker. However, Morgan's knees connected with Rhea's face and fractured her orbital bone. Because of this, Rhea Ripley was written off TV, but thankfully, she was only out of action for a short amount of time. This next wrestler, unfortunately, wasn't as lucky. This injury goes to show that even really simple moves can result in devastating injuries. During an NXT Women's Championship match, Lya Valkyrie was defending her title against Shotzi. One spot saw Shotzi drop down from the edge of the ring onto the floor. However, as soon as she touched the ground, Shotzi began grabbing her left knee in pain. It was later found out that the impact caused her to tear her ACL, putting her out of action for almost a year. CM Punk's return at Survivor Series 2023 was one of the best moments in WWE history. His actual in-ring return? Not so much. CM Punk had his first WWE match in 10 years at the 2024 Royal Rumble. After spending about 7 minutes in the match, Punk took a Future Shock DDT from Drew McIntyre. However, the landing caused the straight-edge star to tear his tricep. You can even see Punk quietly talking to the referee to let him know he's hurt. Despite the injury, CM Punk continued the match, and he was the final man eliminated. Usually, a botch results in only one wrestler getting hurt. This botch actually hurt both competitors. On SmackDown, Austin Theory fought Carmelo Hayes. At one point, Theory went for a Spanish fly from the top rope. However, the two landed awkwardly, which resulted in Theory and Hayes suffering facial contusions. Neither man was concussed, but the accident could have resulted in one of them getting paralyzed. Because of that, Austin Theory said that he would no longer perform the Spanish fly. That makes me wonder if this next move should be banned too. One of the riskiest and most dangerous wrestling moves is the suicide dive. You want to know why? This is why. During a massive eight-man tag team match on Raw, Johnny Gargano hit a suicide dive to the outside. However, the momentum of the move caused Gargano's head to collide with the floor. 
Thankfully, it looked worse than it actually was, and Johnny was able to continue the match. Unfortunately, this next wrestler wasn't as fortunate. The main event of Money in the Bank 2024 was a rough night for Tonga Loa. Loa accompanied the Bloodline for their match against Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens. Now, listen to this. Get acquired, and Cody now, Tonga Loa! Oh, that sound was Tonga Loa's head hitting the commentary table. Loa's mannerisms after the move make it look like he was legitimately hurt. This might be why, later in the match, Tonga Loa botched a low blow to Kevin Owens. What made this whole thing even worse is that right after Tonga Loa got hurt, the ringside doctor got taken out. Someone might need to get a doctor for the doctor. Yeah, but Not long after his mommy got injured, Dominic Mysterio would also suffer an injury. During a match with Andrade on Raw, Dominic injured his elbow. No one knows exactly what caused the injury, but it might have happened when Andrade and Dom were exchanging three amigos. Shortly after the move, you can see Dominic favoring his elbow. This resulted in Dominic being out of in-ring action for several weeks and needing the assistance of an arm cast. Circling back to Rhea Ripley though, this poor woman took so much punishment in 2024. On Raw, Ripley is having a chat with Tiffany Stratton, which, in true wrestling fashion, turned into an all-out brawl. Rhea ended up getting thrown onto the mat by Raquel Rodriguez, but Ripley landed on one of Tiffany Stratton's heels. While it thankfully didn't result in a serious injury, you know it had to hurt like a mother. During the NXT premiere on the CW, Wes Lee and Zachary Wentz faced off in a street fight. They didn't skimp either. Both men used everything they could get their hands on. At one point, Zachary Wentz was launched off the top rope, and while he was supposed to hit a table, he overshot it. It looked painful, and the landing left a red mark on Wentz's shoulder. However, that didn't stop him, and Zachary Wentz finished the match. Drew McIntyre and CM Punk's Hell in a Cell match was one of the most brutal fights we've ever seen in modern WWE. Both men were a bloody mess afterward, but Drew McIntyre got the worst of it. While on the outside, Punk smacked Drew with a toolbox in what was a tribute to the ring bell spot from Bret Hart and Stone Cold Steve Austin's iconic WrestleMania match. While it might not have looked brutal, the toolbox did some serious damage to the Scottish Warrior. In fact, McIntyre needed several stitches in order to close the wound. Now this next injury is unique because it was supposed to be a fake injury, but then it turned into a real one. On SmackDown in October 2024, AJ Styles fought Carmelo Hayes. During the match, AJ hit a moonsault from the middle rope, but had an awkward landing. This was all part of the script. However, a little later, Styles hit a backbreaker. The force from Carmelo Hayes caused AJ's leg and knee to bend, which was not planned. The referee soon realized that AJ Styles was legitimately hurt and ended the match. You can even see AJ getting upset about this. Well, listen, this is the un Rhea Ripley and Dominic Mysterio both suffered their fair share of injuries in 2024, and one of them happened when they were wrestling each other. At Bash in Berlin, Ripley finally got her payback on Dom Dom. However, when Ripley hit Mysterio with a clothesline, it injured Dominic's left eye. The real damage, though, wouldn't be seen until two days later, when Dominic Mysterio walked out with a swollen black eye. What's crazy is that later in the show, another wrestler would injure their eye. During a women's tag team match, Kyrie Sane performed an elbow drop from the top rope to the outside. However, Kyrie's eye caught the edge of the announcer's table and injured her. Thankfully, Sane's vision was fine, but it left a nasty cut around her eye and actually required stitches to close. Speaking of female wrestlers, did you know that women in WWE aren't allowed to show their tattoos unless they get permission? If you want to find out how they hide their tattoos, watch this video.